Mm -hmm. In your opinion, what are some of the best soft skills to have at a large tech company and why? Ooh, that is a good question. Um, guys hey hey all right today i am very very excited for this video why it's because we finally got sponsored so this video is gonna be sponsored by blue apron as you can see the delicious food that's laid out all right so blue apron is a meal kit service and i'm so excited because finally i can make healthy food for myself because you know me i always go out and eat poke bowls or when i cook it looks like this Ew, yuck. oh my god pretty disgusting but yeah so I'm very excited and uh, I get to eat all this free food and another reason why I'm super happy about this is that you know they make really delicious and healthy food and since you know I'm getting jacked this is perfect for me and and something for you guys the first 50 people to sign up will get $50 off your first two weeks of Blue Apron which is great because it makes it pretty much like as cheap as buying groceries okay all right can you, can you come in? Yeah. And we have a special guest today. We got the girl at 304. Wow. Yeah, 304. <laughs> Her name is Arielle. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm a software engineer. I just graduated college uh, 2017. Mm. Oh, I do iOS, but I did web before that. So iOS is totally new to me. Mm. But I get to do it in my job. Nice, nice. Which is fun. We actually have another special guest later on, but you'll have to keep watching to find out who. All right. What food do you want to make? We have three different Steak. meals. <laughs> we, got Steak. <laughs> yeah. we got wild Alaskan, fettuccine, we, aka pasta. We got lemongrass ginger turkey burgers. And finally, we have Parisian steak frites. Oh my God. Oh wow. Okay. I want steak frites. So it's all laid out, you know, one to six. I asked you guys on Twitter to give us, you know, your best questions about software engineering. So we're going to be answering this while we cook. Oh, those are french fries. They're dumb. Yeah. Those are french fries. How oh, shitty I didn't that know. looks. Okay. Like <gasps> oh my god, look who's here! Hi! Oh my Hi. god, who, look who's here! <laughs> <laughs> no need for introduction. This is my Yuko. Yeah, I met him before. Also, oh no, no I met him. Oh, for the video. <laughs> yeah, for the video. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I know. Oh, so, yeah, so which one do you want to choose? You either can choose the lemongrass, uh -huh. uh, turkey, or the fettuccine. I'm going to go to the fettuccine. Fascinating. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Wait, do I just start turkey. now? Yeah, just start. Oh, Let's okay. do it. Go. It's so simple. Like, it's time. Okay. Instructions are so simple. This isn't like a competition or anything. Right? No, 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 it's not. It's not. <laughs> Uh-huh. It's, it. it's just pasta that flow. Whoa, I use the oven for that? Yeah, if you're not cooking, you better clean. <laughs> I'm cooking. I'm cooking. It's part of my <laughs> video. You? Yeah. you know, once I get my new apartment, because my new apartment has a dope-ass kitchen. And, uh, Is it as dope as this one, though? Uh, yeah, it's actually really? Big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude. If you watch my videos, you would know. Whatever. Oops. No one watches your videos. That's not true. Wow, Ooh, that's fancy. Yum. It's like in Japanese and stuff. Damn. It's from Japan. I saw this. Yeah. Hanoni. Oh my gosh, mayonnaise comes in a little thing like this. Wow, you never need to buy any. Look at the wow, wow, this butter. is such so a good cute. for sponsorship video. Go, oh, continue, continue. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten blue apron before, so this is like a new experience. First question by Rosa Noor. Hello, Joma Opa. I do curious, what makes you move from software engineer to data scientist? Thank you. Yeah, that's a great question. I actually got asked that many, many times. So the main reason why I switch is that I want to do something new because the first time I switched was during my internship. So I did a software engineering internship at LinkedIn and then I wanted to try data science and I did that at Facebook. And then after I did it at Facebook, I realized that, you know, maybe sometimes it's not, it's like, like so I really easy. like the product it's more so than actually oh solving gosh. the architecture problems what? and stuff like that. So that's why I really like data science because you're a lot closer to the product because basically you're analyzing data to try to find product recommendations. So it's closer to a PM role than what software engineer would be. And I realized that that's one thing I really care about because I was really into startups, really into making my own products and data science is closer to product management than that. And now I just love data science because it's just fun to discover something cool with data. This one is not perfect. I'm trying to open the bag. Oh. 
done with that. Discard the quarters. Gemma, do you ever cook? Me? Yeah. Uh, Slash, can I take some of these ingredients? Yeah, sure. Really? Yeah, sure. You can take <gasps> I want this black garlic. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Cores on. Remember when I came and made cur made curry with you? AKA when I made curry for you. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how I'm gonna find these questions. Okay, Mitchell Wakefield asks, mm -hmm. in your opinion, what are some of the best soft skills to have at a large tech company and why? Ooh, that is a good question. Um. I would say probably relationship building is a good soft skill to have at a tech company or a very large tech company mm. because. There's a lot of people at a large tech company and the way that you're going to work well with other people is to have like relationships with those people. It doesn't necessarily have to be like personal relationships, but just like having some sort of rapport with a lot of different kinds of people are going to help you get your job done. It's also gonna help you widen your network and mm. everyone's gonna like know who you are and stuff. And sometimes networking is key, especially at large tech companies. Recently, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I could do this. Oh yeah? Yeah. What do I do then? Do I just mm, you talk in? to the camera. <laughs> All right, you know what you're doing. Yep. Evenly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Recently, something I've been thinking about is that when you're an engineer, you can obviously show competence just by writing really good code, but you can demonstrate so much value by actually taking charge in a project, and that requires a lot of soft skills. So like. Basically like leadership skills, right? Running a meeting, starting meetings, being able to talk to all the cross-functional people to get their suggestions and then like connecting those suggestions to other people. It just makes you look so much more competent. And then people will actually start to think of you as someone who can like own a project and totally bring it through. And all of that is like soft skills. All of that's talking to other people, talking to other engineers, maybe like delegating work even. I've been having to do that a lot recently. <laughs> So it's really on my mind. You gotta oh, no, pop down it, look Oh, I thought it was a... Oh, my hands are gonna smell like garlic. Oh, it's hot. That's hot, okay. Make sure I get a lot um, of screen time. 14 minutes. You know, I mean, still my channel, right? <laughs> wow. <Okay. laughs> Is your friend married? No, he's single. Oh. <laughs> Loser! Like yeah, temporary, yeah. Type. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Everything. Yeah. I'm sore. My hands are sore. Are you <laughs> oh. oh my God. <laughs> How do my guns look? It's all... Are you recording? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't do things when you're not recording. Oh my God. <laughs> Please record him all the time. Much. <laughs> oh my god, I thought you were gonna just eat that <laughs> whole spoonful. <laughs> no. You want me to eat this? Is this a challenge? It's a challenge. Easy. <coughs> Do I just so swallow you, it? You don't want the chaser? No, I'll stop it. <laughs> Abdul Halimi asks What did you learn on the job and not in school that you wish you learned in school or knew about it earlier? It could be technical, it could oh. be, you know. Yeah. Okay. So on the job, especially when you're working at a larger company, a lot of your work is going to involve going through other people's code. Mm. Mm. And that means some things are going to take a variable amount of time and you just don't know how long they're going to take. So like scoping a project at school and at work is so different. At least it was for me. Like at, at school, you could like do everything the last day if you really needed to. I mean, maybe not for bigger projects, but at work, it, things are just not going to take the amount of time you think. So that's something I've really had to learn. And when I was an intern, that was like the first time mm -hmm. I got, I had to learn that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what about you, Michael? Cool. I wish I improved my writing skills. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Because like, I thought, I was like, when I was going to school, I was like, I don't need to write. Like, I'm a computer science major. I don't mm -hmm. got to like write anything, like mm -hmm. paragraph structure, whatever. But then I found that like whenever you're communicating what you wrote to like what code you wrote or like if you're communicating to other people um, async what you're doing, then you have to have really good writing skills to come off clearly and like communicate really well. So like even just like PRs, right? Like, you have to write a really good description of what you just made so that it makes sense to another person. And I wish I had like worked on my writing skills a yeah. little more. And that is also like one of the soft skills from that other question. Mm. That's true. Important yeah. soft skill. Yeah, really yeah. important soft skill. Also, one more thing. This doesn't this actually apply to me, but recently one of our coworkers said that at school 
they didn't really check his code. They just checked to see if it ran and it worked. <laughs> mm. And so that's the thing. Like, at your job, people are going to look at your code. It can't just work. It has to be like good code. Oh it yeah. Has quality. I, I think I want. Yeah, I want to talk about this too. Like, coding is not just about how fast your code runs or if it works. Oh. Because the whole, because coding, 90% of the time means you're working with other people. Yeah. Good code means other people can read your code yeah, and then beautiful. write it. Taking out the trash, like my videos, like my coding skills. <laughs> Go on. Wow. Which programming language is a good prerequisite for computer science students in freshman year? For what? Which programming language? Just for yeah. Python's good for interviews. Just yeah, I was gonna say Python. To, yeah. yeah. I mean, it depends mm. on what you're doing, but. Question by Eki. What benefits, if there are any, do you see in getting a software engineering degree versus a computer science degree? Mm. Yeah. And how highly do you think companies value self projects versus actual internship and work experience? Uh, so two, two questions. Actually, okay. I would say software engineering versus computer mm -hmm. science. I my school didn't have a software engineering degree, but I think it depends maybe on like what the school program is and if it aligns mm -hmm. with your goals. Because mm -hmm. I can imagine like some software engineering programs are just like CS programs at other schools. Mm -hmm. So I would say like if you are at a college, then talk to your advisor and see which mm -hmm. one is like more yeah. like what you want to do. And then the second question, uh, self projects versus actual internship or work experience. I guess it depends on what the self project is, but if unless it, unless it's like really cool, I would say that like work experience, actual internships, and mm -hmm. self-projects. Because yeah. there's a lot of stuff that you learn in internships that aren't just about coding. Mm -hmm. And it's about like working with a team and working with other people and communicating and stuff that are really valuable, I think, to learn. Mm -hmm. Just my two cents. How do you keep being productive in software engineering? More specifically, how you do it with hella distraction around you? Basically, how do you not procrastinate? Oh. You just always procrastinate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so procrastination doesn't stop. Yeah. But I think the accountability systems are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I personally do get distracted a lot in general at work also. But I, I, I have just learned to accept it because in a day, I have a certain amount of energy. And even if I have more time, like, like eight hours in a day, it doesn't mean that I'm going to work the whole eight hours. Because I just get mentally tired, right? Yeah. So it's okay to procrastinate from time to time. Like, yeah. like for example, studying. How, how did you not procrastinate studying? I had to All remove myself from social situations sometimes. Like go to a library, like lock myself in a room, you know? Mm -hmm. That's kind of how I had to do it. Yeah. Also have a nice little drink or something, like a treat, like a coffee. Yeah. Not like, I'm not saying alcohol. Oh, I'm <laughs> not saying like I brought wine to the library. I meant coffee. I would do that too. There's like a boba place on my campus. Yeah. So I would just like get boba and I would be like, this is my treat while yeah. I study. And it kind of puts, sometimes it puts into that mode, mm -hmm. especially if it's something that you always have when you're studying. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I always procrastinate in college, so. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> not great advice. But just do it. I think at least at work, other people also want to get stuff done usually yeah. at some point. If anything, so. it's more like social pressure at work because it's like if you don't get it done, then yeah. it affects someone else's work. Yeah, that's true. And then that's more motivation for me. Mm. Like, oh, I don't want to let that person down. Whereas in college, it's like the only person I'm laying down is myself. Exactly. And I can let myself down. Okay. Parson makes everything look good. I love you, Parson. With warm light. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one, one last question for you guys, okay. which is a simple answer, I think. Do you, as seasoned developer, have to refer to documentation and code snippets when coding at work, or do you already have all the knowledge needed in your head? I'm a robot, so it's all programmed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I always look stuff up. Always. Yeah, there's so much stuff. You can't. 100%. Unless you're a robot, Dude, you can't. Mm -hmm. I Google how to write loops in Python <laughs> at the daily... Basis. I do use Google a lot. Yeah. 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 Literally everything I do, I copy code snippets, almost. You know, of course. You have to copy the good code snippets. Yeah, the good. Yeah. Code mm -hmm. well. That's the thing that you learn in the season developer. You just know what's good and bad code to copy. Yeah. Code. Yeah. Oh, man. Judge okay. Cool. So here's the food. It looks very, very delicious. Thank you, Mayuko. Thank you, Ariel, for for uh, helping me cook this meal. Mm -hmm. Or should we say, thank you for cooking for me. <laughs> and allow me to help. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is um, extremely healthy. I mean, if we look at the uh, nutritional facts, let's see, fettuccine, you know, you get 710 calories for this one. 
And then for the other one, steak frites, we get 610 calories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of protein, both of them, 41 grams, 39 grams. Oh my God, it's delicious. All right, let's try it out, guys. Try it. Oh, yes. I'm gonna try, try the first. pasta first. I'm gonna fry, actually. I'm gonna try the pasta. It's got fish in there. From the side. Mmm. Oh my God, aioli is so good. Wow, good job, Mayuko. This is, oh wow, this is mm. tasty. Let me try. Yo, that's good. I did this. Good. You mean thank you, Blue Apron, thank for Blue Apron. making the recipe, <laughs> the recipe and, was very, very <laughs> and the direct. To follow. Mm. Oh my god, it's good. That is really good. Yeah. Oh my god, it's al dente. I've never had fish pasta. Yeah, I don't think I've actually ever made fish pasta before either. But actually, oh, it's really easy. So good. Yeah. Wow, this is actually really good. Yeah. Really healthy. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to try this one. Dude, yeah. if I could make this myself, it would be. So oh my god, this is so good. Is this oh, wait, wait, should I should I add the garlic oh, or should I butter. get the butter? Just extra butter. Mm. Yeah, you get more than just this, by the way. I'm gonna just eat off of this plate. Mmm, so It tastes like what I would get in large companies cafeteria food when it's a good day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, you don't think so? I think this is definitely better than that. Oh, better? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's better. All right. It feels like I shopped at Whole Foods without needing to go to Whole Foods and pay for it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And I think I can do this with my girlfriend. What girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, can you just act? Can you just... <laughs> Fine, I could do Nobody this can act that with hard. my non-existent girlfriend. <laughs> with your future girlfriend. Yeah, my future girlfriend. You gotta be hopeful. Though. I am hopeful. <laughs> One day. I will get a girlfriend. <laughs> All right, so last words. Thank you so much, Blue Apron, for sponsoring this video. Oh my God, we had so much fun making this. Oh my God. So yeah, and once again, don't forget, link on the description to get free, what, $50 off for Ooh. your next purchase. Yeah. All right, peace out, guys. Bye. Bye. And then a rap music starts. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah. Ooh, why always